I'm going to show you how to do a cast on with the Singer knitting machine. Um, first of all, we're going to be threading the yarn. We're going to take it up through here, comes through the tension unit, which you can set according to the thickness of the yarn. It comes to the front going through a little loop there. It comes up through the tension spring. It also then comes through here. And you can actually just clip the yarn there when you're not using it. I'm going to take the yarn and now put it through into the knitting carriage. So if you can come and have a look here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this lever and I'm going to pull it across. Take the yarn, the yarn goes through there and I'm going to push the lever back. The yarn, I just tie the yarn around there just so that it doesn't move. The next step is I'm going to make sure that this lever here is on stocky knit or stocky knit. Push it on stocky knit. I'm going to turn, this is your tension dial, so you can set how the, the tension of your knitting. So when we cast on, we put it on to zero. I'm going to use my needle pusher. I'm going to bring forward every second needle. And I'm going to bring it into a B position. So B position is, if you look on the side over here, it tells you A, B, C, and D. So B position is there, and that's what we're going to do according to um, the knitting. Just plain knitting, we'll go into B position. So with casting on, it's every second needle. I'm going to move the carriage across from right to left. I'm going to take, this is a comb that I'm going to be putting on. And this comb is only available for the Brother Knitting Machines. Um, this singer doesn't come with a cast on comb. So this cast on comb is very valuable and very easy to actually use. We're going to clip it onto the yarn. Make sure it's clipped on. So it's clipped on in each of the yarn pieces there. Make sure we all lined up. I'm then going to pull all the rest of the needles so that they're in B position, so that they're all in a straight line. So I'll pull them up. So this is now what you call a full needle position. To finish off our cast on, I'm going to move the carriage from left and to right. And you'll find that if we were to take this off, that won't unthread. I'm going to change the tension dial and I'm going to put it on to four because I'm using a four ply wool, a four ply acrylic. So just for the sake of the video, I'm just going to just do a few rows before I go on to knitting with a pattern. So I will show you how the pattern actually gets put into the punch card. Okay, the next step is I'm actually going to change the counter because I want to know how many rows I've knitted. So I'm going to zero the counter. So at the moment, the counter is now on zero. I've also made, this is the pattern card unit. The, so the punch card unit. I'm going to make sure that the punch card unit is on the little circle. So we pull the lever down to be on the little circle over there. On your carriage itself, this is the little lever that is going to trigger the counter. So we're going to move the lever so that it's in that position there and it'll actually keep on triggering the counter here. So all these levers I've left in that position, these levers on here are in that position, nothing else to touch and we're going to then, we've got the tension on four and I'll just knit a few rows and you'll see how it turns out. That's now 24 rows. I'm just going to take the yarn off just so that because we're knitting we don't want it to go too far down. My next step now is I'm going to be putting a punch card in. So 
In order to do punch card knitting, I'm going to do a fair owl. So I'm just going to refer to the manual. The manual will tell you how to actually set up the fair owl. So we're just going to turn to the page for fair owl knitting. And it will then show you the levers in which you need to have the machine. Um, in the book, it also shows you how to actually put the punch card in. So we just get to that section, sorry. So this is it. This one in this book is on page 48. This is called Knit in Fair Owl. It tells you what position the machine needs to be in, all the little levers. And then it gives you an idea of what the patterns are going to look, at, look like with whatever punch card you use. At the moment, I'm going to try this particular punch card. This is punch card number 16, and it says A. So I'll just show you the punch cards now, and it's going to give me that look there. So I'm going to choose punch card number 16, which is this little one over here. I take the punch card, there's the A, I put the punch card in. Now if you come and have a look here, so the punch card goes in there. I move the needle forward, this slider forward. This allows me to actually wind the punch card in. With the punch card being wound in, it then has these two little loops and I'm going to put clips on here, which means that I can then carry on knitting for hundreds of rows if I wanted to and it will just carry on turning around in the drum. So I'm just going to get those clips. These are the little punch card clips we're going to use. If you have a look a little closer, those are your punch card clips. There. Right, I'm going to clip them on here. So we take the card, have a closer look. We bend the card, we'll bend the card over. And we can actually just put these through first. So we put those through first there and there through the holes. So, put the top section in, like so, and clip them in. We'll do the other side. Right, so that's all in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take it back to the beginning, which is A. So I'm coming back to A and we'll start at the beginning. We're going to leave the lever up. If you want to know how many rows you need to, to knit, you're obviously going to put that back onto zero if you like. This wheel class says, let's say I want to do, have it as a rib. So that would be a rib in a certain color. I'm going to thread my next color through so I'm just using a grey and threading it through exactly the same as what I did with the yellow. We can take the grey, thread it through, coming through here, and have a close look as to where this goes into the carriage. So have a look over here. We're not moving the lever. The lever needs to stay where it is. This comes through, just clips in just over there. Taking the excess and we just wind it around the bottom. The next thing I'm going to change is I'm going to change this lever here and I'm going to slide it over to what's called knit in. So we slide it over to knit in. The next important step in order to actually get your knitting to work, we're going to first move up the very end needle of your knitting needs to move up into D position. So you just go all the way up to the top. At the beginning of each row, you'll be knitting it 
you'll be pulling that needle up. So I'll do one row now and then I'll show you pulling the next needle up. So moving across the carriage, move it across. End needle comes up. So we're pulling the end needle up. The other stay there. And we're going to do this for every row. Moving the carriage across. Pulling the end needle up. And we move the carriage across. Pulling the end needle up. Make sure those stay down. Move the carriage across. Now I'm going to do this fairly quickly. I'm going to take off the grey just so that the grey doesn't jam up. Okay, so we just take the grey off there. I'm going to go fairly quickly just to give you an idea of what the pattern looks like and then I'll take it off the bed and you'll see the knitted uh, product. So just hang on a few minutes whilst I do a few of these. So just keep that rolling. Okay. Make sure when you pull up the end one that you're pulling, pushing the others down. They mustn't come up. At the same time, the pattern card is also changing and it's moving around. complete full bed and it will actually knit this diamond shape on the whole bed but at the moment I just wanted a small piece so we'll just carry on here make sure the others stay back done a full revolution um, the A has gone back around again so we're again going on to the second one so we'll carry on again and we'll move the needle forward so we'll just do another um, it was only 25 rows to actually make that diamond shape stop and you just want to just do a plain um, knitting this row. If you just want to do now a plain band of yellow, all you have to do is put this punch card into the stop position and it won't actually knit the pattern. So we put it into stop there. We will then move it from this lever here which says knit in and we will put it back to stocky knit over there. And we can just knit normally and it'll give you a plain yellow band. Alright, so at the moment I'm going to take everything off. If you want to knit a plain yellow band, sometimes it's easier and better to actually take the other colour off. Just so that it doesn't get caught up in the knitting, which it has here. It got caught up, so it would have been better to have taken it off. Alright, so now I'm finished and I'm going to take it off the bed and the way I do that 
is I'm just going to break the color, break the yarn. I'm hooking it up here. And the way we take it off, just hold the tension and move the carriage across. And this will actually just take all, everything off. Right, now I'm going to show you the pattern. So this is the pattern here. That's the pattern we have just finished knitting. So if you have a look at it in the book. So this was pattern number 16, A, V, and that's what it looks like once I've done the knitting. I hope that you've got a little bit better understanding now of um, how to do basic cast on and do the pattern card, punch card knitting. It's very, very simple to do. If you now want to change to a different pattern and you are in the middle of doing your knitting and you like that, but you want to change to something else, again, very easy to do. Um, you stopped, you might have done a single plain a, a, a row um, of let's say 25 stitches just to give you a band and you want to change to a different punch card, all you do is you just have to take out the punch card, you're going to have it in the stop position, um, so and you keep your carriage to the side, you put it into the moving position and again you just move it around with the lever, take off your punch card and you can put your next punch card in and do your next pattern. So the book is very self-explanatory. Um, so if you, if I was too quick with going through the instructions, by all means, have a look at the book or play the video back slowly and just do it step by step. Thanks for watching.